going on YouTube? It's the Green Chiz. I know I've been talking about it, but it all started yesterday. Probably the biggest video game auction of all time. One third of it has happened and is finished. I want to take a look at that. We're going to look at what's coming on Sunday. You got step two, step three coming up. Big, big money. Let's look at this. Everybody, let's jump into this. So what I have on the screen here is heritageauctions.com. This is the company that did the largest auction that I've seen in a long time for video games. And I have it sorted here. There's three different sections. The first section finished already. That was uh, yesterday on the 9th. Um, and on Sunday, to, which is now today, we have section two and section three going off. Long story, there are some issues. i um, going to get into that a little bit after I go through some of these. Um, the highlight that you'll see here is 870000 US dollars for Zelda. This is early production Zelda print for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, only graded a WADA 9.0. This is having a lot of speculation if it's actually going to be paid for. Um, there's a lot of discussion in video game groups saying that it was basically shill bid. No way to know because it seems there's a handful of these now going up for sale. People asking much less money for a similar grade. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that ends up. But as you'll see, these video game prices, even if that one's fake, not all of these are going to be because they're following trends that are pretty consistent, these these Mario games. Um, you see here, Super Mario World, WADA 9.4, got $360,000, and that's after a buyer's premium. Buyer's premium is just like an added price to each auction. It's a set price. I can't remember the total price. I want to say it's like 15 18%, something around there. Um, I should know I've bought several things from there, but I never really pay attention to it. I just know I'm going to get added on to a bill at the end. But yeah, Mario Games, Final Fantasy here, you see $204,000. Um, absolutely insane. These are fetching crazy amounts of money. Um, you can see here you got a World Championship cartridge. This obviously is not sealed. It's not in a box. It's literally just a graded cartridge sold for $180,000. Not many of those exist. And as you see the prices here, most of these are high-end games. Um, Mario Brothers Arcade Classic, $156,000. Uh, the Mike Tyson games popping off really good. Really good high price here, 78000 84000 Another Zelda. This was a later production, which is insane. It almost looks the same, but it doesn't. And it's so much less money, assuming that actually sells for that much. I really want an Excite Bike. That is a really high grade. Cannot get up to a 9.8 myself. I love this game. Um, that's top tier on my list. I bought my highest tier which i think well super mario 3 i played the most of but right behind that was ice hockey and i bought that at heritage auctions for a thousand dollars previously great game amazing game and i haven't seen it go for sale since so that's awesome for me um just insane number of games sold and if those of you that are not familiar with Heritage Auctions, I highly suggest checking it out. It's nothing like eBay. Um, these auctions actually go live at some point. So right now, Section 2 and Section 3 of this auction are currently proxy bid. So you can bid on these items currently that are in those sections, just like you would eBay. But at, at one point um, today, tomorrow, on Sunday... Um, these will go live with an auctioneer, and the auctioneer will sit with this one item, and it'll have a live auction. 
So it doesn't have a set time. It can keep going and going and going as long as people keep bidding, um, which is the best part. So with eBay, you're limited to time. Heritage auctions, you're limited to money. So the more bidding, the longer it goes, which is why you sometimes see these crazy prices. <sighs> crazy. Another Final Fantasy game. As you see, most of these high dollar I games are top tier like Ninja Turtles Pinball this is probably one of the first pinball games Super Mario 2 Super Mario 3 I loved Mickey Mouse Escape I played the crap out of this game I really wish I kept all these sealed The Goonies 2 they never made a second movie but they made a second game we're, so these are priced high to low. So I think the lowest price, just going to skip down to the bottom on this. So yesterday I'll, on the 9th, the cheapest game sold for $990. Uh, that's a lot of money for the cheapest. And it wasn't even a game. It, I forgot. It was the sealed Atari. Um, the cheapest game that sold was $1,300. Here's an original Super Mario Brothers. This is not sealed. This is literally complete in box. Sold for $3,600. Absolutely crazy. Let me know how many times I said absolutely insane in here. Get a counter going. Um, I definitely want a Super Mario 3. I might just have to go and buy one complete in box because the game's awesome. I played the crap out of it, so... Very cool, very cool. Um, no Pokemon games sold in this first set. So I'm going to jump over now, kind of show you the next set of games going up. And that's this, I think, starts at noon. And it might be central time. Let's see here. 12 hours and 4 minutes is 1 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, this Section 2 was supposed to happen, uh, I believe Section 2 and 3 were already supposed to be completed, or Section, yeah, Section 2 I think was supposed to be yesterday as well, and it was. So, actually, these first 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, these first 15 or 16 games, I think it, Final Fantasy was the last one. All of these actually sold on the 9th. They went through the full auction. They were having DD, DOS attacks, and they were losing their servers. So in the middle of the auction, it kept crashing. They'd wait five minutes, try and start it up again, and it kept crashing. So they literally got through 14 or 15 of these, completely sold them. There was winners. And when it came down to this Final Fantasy game, they just had enough and had to call the entire auction. Now, they feel like it was messed up and the bidding wasn't correct or something. They are now restarting it. So those 15 games that were sold now have to be resold. How pissed would you be if you won one of these games? And had to repurchase it. Um, if I if I go in, because these these aren't cheap games. If I won a game for say ten thousand dollars, and I think I won it, and I logged off Heritage Auctions because I got the game I wanted, and then come to find out, hey, why is this game up for sale again? I would completely lose my mind. That's exactly what happened. These games are currently up for auction again, even though they sold technically. Um, the servers crashed. They did not get past Final Fantasy, but soon after Final Fantasy was the Pokemon break, uh, games. So you see here, and again, the scale, some of you might not know, it's different from G VGA and Heritage only does WADA because they're technically in bed together. Um, there's a relationship there. The WADA 9.4 A++. So the A++, the 
the letter grade is grading just the seal. So A++ is the highest grade you can get. Um, a 10 is the highest grade you can get number grade, and that's the box itself. So a 9.4 A++ is probably one of the highest ones that have gone up for sale. And there's two of them. These are two different print runs. So you'll notice, yeah, so just the slightest difference. This is a sand true box, meaning on the back of the box, there's a sand true in the image, but there's red text, which means this is first production. And this one is blue text, meaning early production. Could be the separation of just months or a month, not even, um, just a slight alteration to their design. And this is going for three to four times the price, which is absolutely blows my mind. Same exact game, just not the first print run. So 9.2 A plus is going to do very low compared to the other ones because it's not an A++ and it's not a 9.4. Um, I don't know why I'm tracking this. No, oh, come on. Go back. Technical difficulties here. Yeah, so there, I don't know why it said I was tracking red version. There ain't no way I'm going to buy that game. That is currently at $77,500. And now my images aren't loading. So that's cool. There it goes. Um, these crazy poke. These are cheap yellow versions. 9.2 A+. I don't like all the different versions. It's pretty annoying to keep track of. Um, it happened in older Game Boy games. Like you don't see that with gold and silver versions ever that I've seen. It's just one version, which is really easy to keep track of. Um, this 9.4 A plus is the same as the one I have here. I'm hoping uh, she sells good. I guess we'll see. Currently only $2,300, the last one uh, there was a 9.4 A++ that sold for $14,400. Um, that was the last Heritage big auction they did. So be curious to see where that one lands. This game is much lower grade. Not much lower, but lower. Um, similar price to the 9.4. So that's interesting. I might be a buyer for this gold version because it kind of go with my game, but we'll see. Pokemon trading card game is awesome. That is a great grade. 9.6, A++, over $11,000. How many of you opened that and played it? Get destroyed. You got some Nintendo 64 games. And again, these are just, this is their signature auction. This is high-end video games. So every Tuesday, they have a video game, trading card game auction. Generally, on average, it's a not, I guess, lower end, lower end being below ten thousand dollar games. Um, some games do sell as low as a hundred dollars. The people that grade those probably shouldn't. Um, I don't. I'm pretty sad that this is now climbing. A nine point eight A plus plus. I expect this game to sell for over fifty thousand dollars, and right now it's only at twelve thousand five hundred. 9.8, so yeah, so this one's a lesser grade than the Sapphire, less desirable usually than Sapphire that I've seen. And it's already $31,000, three times larger than Sapphire with a lesser grade. Emerald version, this game will is selling for $60,000 plus already. Um, that doesn't include the buyer's premium. So with the buyer's premium, you're probably looking at 70 grand. That's going to peak and creep over $100,000, I would guess. This is one of the most sought-after games in one of the highest, probably the highest grade that this game exists in. Outside of a VGA 95, which might exist, I haven't seen it personally. I haven't looked for it. But if you know VGA versus WADA grades, usually like a VGA 95 is similar to a 9.8 WADA. 
but usually VGA is a little harsher on their grades. Mortal Kombat, great game. So they have every different system. GTA 2. I love the GTA series. It's obviously like one of the best selling medias of all time. The old school San Andreas, Halo, awesome. Just crazy set of games. Um, I I just posted on Instagram recently. This reminded me of it. I saw a VHS grading company. And that is very interesting to me because they look like video games when they're slabbed. Um, this game looks very similar to the movie that came out in 89, made by Tim Burton, the uh, the Batman movie. And it's pretty sweet. Um, I might be getting into that a little bit, because it's pretty cool to get, I love Batman, that was my favorite superhero, so might be looking at some of those VHSs, those are not cheap sealed as well, um, nowhere near video game status, but yeah, so check out Heritage Auctions. Um, auctions going live today. Big one. I might be recording some of it, but we'll see. The Tuesday auctions go off and are awesome as well. Usually some sleeper stuff on there. It's not as many eyes on it as the signature auction. They've done a lot of press on this. So, yeah, keep out, keep your eyes out. Go check out some games. And nonetheless, it's it's cool to watch. A live, it's actually a live auctioneer for this signature auction. They don't have a live auctioneer on Tuesdays. It's more automated, but there's still it's still technically live. But there's actually an auctioneer um, that's live streaming this video game auction tomorrow. So hopefully it's Barry. Barry's the man. So that's it. That's all I got for you. I appreciate you coming out. Um, please, please smash the like button and hit the sub button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Getting up towards 200 subscriptions and subscribers, <laughs> subscriptions. Yeah, you guys are getting a magazine here once a month. No, appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.